Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about dividing whole numbers by a decimal. We have the first question here. What is the quotient when 288 is divided by 9 tenths? A. 320 B. 330 C. 3200 and D. 3300 our equation is 288 divided by 9 tenths. Our dividend, our divisor, and whatever is the answer is our quotient. Since we have a divisor that is decimal, it is important that we have to make it or change it into whole number. We need one step to make it a whole number, that's 1, and then whatever we did in our divisor we have to do that also in our dividend that's also one step our new equation will be 2880 divided by 9 we are ready to divide that's 2880 divided by 9 now how many nines are there in 28 there's 3 3 times 9 is 27 subtract 8 minus 7 is equal to 1 bring down 8 how many nines are there in 18? That's 2. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. Subtract, then bring down 0. How many nines are there in 0? That's 0. 0 times 9 is 0, then subtract. Our answer for this question is letter A, which is 320. Next question. There are blank 25 hundredths in 500. A. 200 B. 250 C. 2000 and D. 2500 Our equation is 500 divided by 25 hundredths. This is our dividend, divisor, and our quotient. We need to convert our divisor into whole number by moving two decimal places. That's 1 and 2. We will do that 2 in our dividend, that's 1, and then 2. Next, our new equation will be 50,000 divided by 25. We're ready to divide. That's 50,000 divided by 25. How many 25s are there in 50? That's 2. 2 times 25 is 50, then subtract. B will bring down 0, that's 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, bring down 0, that's 0, and all zeros. That gives us a final answer of 2000, that would mean our answer here is letter C. We have another question here. How many chocolate candies can you buy if you have 120 pesos and each chocolate candy costs 2 pesos and 50 centavos? Is it A, 24, B, 48, C, 100, or D, 144? Our equation for this question is 120 divided by 2 and 50 hundredths. We have to take note our dividend divisor and quotient we need to make sure that the divisor is converted into whole number by moving two decimal places to the right as well as with our dividend now our new equation is 12,000 divided by 250 but we can still cancel the two zeros there that's one and two what we have now is 1,200 divided by 250 that will be easier than the other one how many 25s are there in 120 we will have 4 25 times 4 is equal to 100 4 times 25 is 100 then we can subtract we get 20 and we bring down 0 how many 25s are there in 200 let me guess I think it's 8 okay yes it's 8. 8 times 25 is 200 and subtract we get 0. Our answer for this question is letter B. It means you can buy 48 chocolate candies if you have 120 pesos. 
Next one, a member of the school track team ran for 975 miles in practice over 12.5 days. How many miles did he run on average per day? A. 68 B. 76 C. 78 D. 82 This is our dividend, divisor, and the quotient. We have to move one place to make our divisor a whole number. We will also move one place to our dividend. Now, our new equation is 9750 divided by 125. We are ready to divide. That's 9,750 divided by 125. How many 125s are there in 975? I think it's 7. That is mm -hmm, 875. Okay, 7 times 125 is 875. Then subtract, we get 1,000. Okay, how many 125 are there in 1,000? Yes, that's 8. Okay, 8 times 125 is equal to 1,000. And let's subtract, we get 0. Our final answer for this is letter C. It means, in average, a member of the track team can run 78 miles. Now, it is your turn to solve. Please write your answer in the comment section. The question is, Find the quotient of 540 and 2.25. I'll be waiting for your answer. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!